Hi everyone, if you're joining me for the very first time, my name is Adrienne and I am a homeschool mom who loves to share about ways to live toxin-free. This month I am talking about homeschooling specifically and this whole month is going to be about finishing strong. The month of May, really after Christmas, each month has its own challenge. Um, homeschool life has challenges, but I feel like the month of May is ex extra hard because you've got that little taste of summer coming and the weather is warming up. It's not as um, conducive for learning inside, which is totally fine. We can totally take school outside. So this month I want to focus on just finishing strong and not um, letting your homeschooling lessons and things go to the wayside just because you're getting a little case of spring fever. I read this blog about this other mom who had this crazy idea that I actually think is kind of brilliant. If you have the motivation and the self-discipline, she actually takes the whole month of May off and does an early summer break before all of the public schools dismiss. So here in Oklahoma, almost all of the schools dismiss around Memorial Day. So they have the whole month of June and usually the whole month of July and then they go back the beginning of August. So it's crazy, but it's kind of smart if you think about it um, before all of the playgrounds and the parks and the museums and all the things get crowded with the public school kids going out and about. She actually does her, their summer break in the month of May while most public schools are still in session. If you have the motivation and the discipline to get back into it and finish out school the month of June. I don't know if my kids and I would be able to do that after taking a month off, but I did think that was neat. So I thought I would throw that out there. I just want to talk about flexibility. I know I've mentioned this in videos before, but I feel like it's so important and such a key part of surviving your homeschool and not only surviving, but just thriving in your homeschool don't compare. Comparison is a trap of the devil. They always say um, comparison is the thief of joy. So you don't want to look. Um, it's fine to look to others to get ideas, but you just have to be very diligent and very determined that you are not going to compare yourself to others and where their kids are or what they're doing. Um, back when I was a teacher in public school, I know that some of the elementary teachers could get a little... Um, upset if other teachers were doing like these cutesy little crafts and putting it on their bulletin board. They were almost like jealous about it. And I remember just thinking that was so odd. Like if they want to do that, then that is great. And if you want to do it, that's great too. But just admire other people's artwork or their ability to take things and just turn them into a learning experience or their using their homesteading or their gardening as part of their learning experience. Don't be jealous. Encourage those moms and cheer them on and be excited and happy for them. And if you want to take some little snippets and input that in your schedule too, then that's totally fine. Just don't compare and don't try and judge your kids like where they should be or they're, they're behind. They're not going to catch up. None of that language. Do what works for your family. If you need to take a day off, fine week off, fine, month off, fine. It doesn't matter. You're going to make up for it in the time that they're spending with you because the, the time that you have with your kids when you're homeschooling is so condensed and so you're hitting so many different things just in that small time. Even if you only do school for an hour, a couple hours a day, there's so many other things that they're learning that's not just their school time. They're learning how to run a household, how to show people the love of Jesus. Maybe you volunteer with your kids. Maybe you have them outside doing some housework or um, out, outdoor chores like weeding in the garden. They're learning about how plants grow. And if we plant these seeds in April, in a few months, we'll be able to eat those things. So there's lots of things that you can teach them that's not strictly reading math and arithmetic. So don't feel guilty if you have to take a day off. Um, I know when my little one was very young, school was challenging because of nap time and feeding and all of that. So a lot of times we just had to put the pause button on for school. I would feed the baby sometimes while I was doing a math lesson, which was quite comical. But if you want to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with your little one, it's totally fine to give your kids something that they can work on. They learn through so many things, especially when they're young. That's the best way for them to learn. Give them some Play-Doh, have them do some kind of Lego challenge, give them the little pattern blocks and have them explore. There's so many different things. Just be flexible and give yourself grace. 
whether you take the summer off or your school year round, don't forget about your why. Why are you homeschooling? Why are you doing this? And if you need a uh, little cutesy little graphic or some information, I do have uh, a video that I did all about the why and why it's, why it's important to have a why and all that. So I will link that in the description or the comments or wherever. So that's just my first video for the month of May. Finish strong and be flexible. Squeeze school in when you can. Look for learning opportunities and just let them play. They learn through play so much better than I could teach them a lesson. Often they're learning um, interpersonal skills. They're learning how to manage groups of people and lots of different personality types, especially if you have multiple kids, multiple ages, even if you're doing like play dates, there's so much learning that's happening there. It does not have to be a worksheet or a workbook or whatever. So be flexible and finish strong.